Hello all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandramani Pandey and thank you very much for watching my other videos. In the last video, we talked about how to initiate a Windows check for update using a protective remediation script in Intune. In this video, I will show you how to initiate an on-demand protective remediation script in bulk by reading the host file name from a notepad file. This method allow you to trigger any productive remediation script based on the requirement. But for demonstration purpose, I will show you how to initiate a Windows check for update on multiple machines using an on-demand productive remediation scripts via PowerShell. So let's see how we can do this. But before we move ahead, a small request if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the videos. So now you can see that I am on my client machine and to initiate a check for update on multiple machines, you have to download the PowerShell script I have already downloaded the PowerShell script and that is in my download folder. So let me show you the script. I am opening the download folder. And we can see that this is my script. So in the user input section, you have to provide these user inputs. You have to provide the remediation script ID. You have to provide the device list path. You have to provide the successful report path where you will get the device list where we are able to initiate the productive remediation dissection script. And you will also have to provide the failed report path where we will see if there is any issue in initiating the check for update or initiating the productive remediation detection script. So let me show you how we can find the remediation script id for that you have to go to the intune portal you have to go to the devices and within that you have to go to the scripts and remediations and then within the remediation you have to select the script which you want to initiate using this powershell last time we created a script called windows check for update let me open this script in the overview section in the top, you can see that in the URL, you will able to find the script ID. You have to copy this script ID and you have to update the remediation script ID under the user input file. And then we have to update the path. So I have already created a folder in the C drive under the temp file called device list and in this I have already updated all the device list where I want to initiate a check for update. Let me add one more device in front of you. So we have to go to the devices under the Windows device. Just select any device. Let me initiate a check for update on this device. And update the script. Now we can see that we have these number of devices uh, where we have to initiate the productive remediation script and for the demo purpose, we are initiating the check for update using PowerShell. So now you have to save this. And you have to copy the path. So let me press shift and then copy as path and then you have to update the path. Okay, now you have to update the success report path and the fail report path. So I am okay with the same location, but as per your choice, you can update these paths as well. And then you have to initiate the script. But before that, let me show you the my client device. So I am on my client device now. We can see that this machine saying your device is missing important security and quality fixes. Okay. And let me show you this machine host name. So let me run a CMD and type. We can see that the machine host name is desktop. And if you go to the devices, go to the windows. 
and search for that device. You can see that we have not initiated any device action as of now on this machine. So after running the script, we will see some data here and we will see that whether the machine is also getting a check for update command or not. So let me run the command. Let me select the entire script. And click on run. Now this script is going to install the required module. If not present. And now we can see that we successfully started initiating the check for update on multiple device using PowerShell script. And if you go to the device. And see the check for update and wait for some time. And now we can see that Intune initiated the check for update after some time. And now we can see that it is started installing all the required application as well as we can see that the feature update for Windows 10 22 H2 is also available for this machine. That's why it started installing those updates. And if we go to the Intune portal, we can see that the device action status is also showing as in pending and after some time it will change the status. And if we go to the temp folder, we can see that we have two CSV files. One is for success report.csv and other for fail.csv in success.csv. We can see that all the device where we are able to initiate the check for update or productive remediation script. And on the fail report that it is showing the device not found in Intune portal as well as where it is failed to trigger the remediation script. So this way we can trigger the on demand directive remediation on multiple device by providing the host name in CSV file and initiating the trigger using PowerShell script. So let me know in the comment sections if you find this script helpful. And I'm also interested to know what type of reports, videos or automations you would like to see in the future videos. I hope this is an informative video for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.